Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Greg Andrews from Search Minerals. How are you today? I'm very well, Tracy, and yourself? Well, Greg, of course, our audience isn't aware of the fact that we've had some delightful conversations behind the scenes. We've both been in the industry a very long time, and while you've had some substantial news here in the last two months, I'm going to actually start by putting you on the spot and, and having you share with our listeners what we discussed in our last meeting, which is more about your enthusiasm about the electrification of the industry and how we're finally getting pulled into that demand and being recognized. I, I'd just love for you to start there. Excellent, Tracy. Yeah, you know, you and I have met, you know, back in the last boom and um, ever since we've been really facing headwinds in the rare earth space. But, you know, Search Minerals continue to work in that environment, facing those winds. And right now, we're just starting to feel that the winds are getting behind us with the recent uh, announcements with Canadian government, U.S. government, the EU, their their rules on electrification and and reducing internal combustion vehicles. It's just a, a, a push in the uh, the right space for electrification, which of course uses rare earth magnets uh, to uh, to achieve those goals that they're looking for. And I think you were also talking to me about the automotive companies. I mean, I you know, as you referenced, um, over the years we've we've tried to reach out to these companies, and of course they've behaved as if we don't exist when they can't actually run their vehicles, their electric vehicles, without our critical materials. Would you? I'd love for you to share that beautiful metaphor you were sharing with me prior to us filming this interview, please. <laughs> Well, what I what I talk about is is we've been in the the business and with the with the expectation that the electric vehicles were going to take strong hold in the in the industry and the the OEMs, the Fords, the Chryslers, the Fiats, were and Volkswagens were going to embrace that, but they were slow to embrace. And you know we were in early adopters, but in the last uh, year or so, you can see the amounts of monies that are being spent by these OEMs to say the electrification is is here, and we're investing a lot of capital in it. So they're gonna if they're gonna invest that capital, they need to make sure that they have the supply chains that can feed into making their business plans uh, operable. And you know what's interesting to me personally, I was reading one of Jack Lifton's recent pieces about the Tesla effect on, on the PGMs, for instance, and how the prices have superseded the realistic expectation of how much is actually required versus the rare earths. So I don't know if you'd like to add anything to that with regards to the real value of some of these magnetic materials, but we would love to hear your, your expertise on this matter. Well, one thing that's interesting when you bring up Tesla is, um, you know, in the early stages, Tesla wasn't using rare earth magnets in their traction motors. But with the Model 3, a smaller footprint, a smaller car, smaller battery space, they needed to optimize the efficiencies of the batteries they're putting in there. So therefore, they went to rare earth motors in the Model 3. Of course, what that does is it takes less strain on the batteries, and therefore you can get more efficiency, get longer range is what they're always looking for. They're lighter for the vehicle, all those things. And now they're transferring that into their Model S and their Model Ys because you can use more efficiency in the motors and keep the same battery size. So th th that was a very big switch that happened a few years ago that, that, uh, that we're quite excited about also. And of course, Search Minerals has been had a numerous uh, volume of announcements recently. You announced a, uh, a technical collaboration framework agreement with USA Rare Earth, and you've also signed an MOU with Saskatchewan Research Council, which is getting a lot of attention on investor intel. Can you tell us a little bit about those agreements, uh, your role as also a technology company, Greg? Thank you. Yeah, Tracy, those those uh, uh, collaboration agreements with both SRC and US Rare is, is really the critical next step for us to be able to get into the our turn our product into the oxide. So with SRC, they they're using a proven solvent extraction separation for, uh, operation, which is fantastic, so that they can take our product and develop for us. But also the US Rare Earths, we're using them with their technical, they're using continuous ion exchange methods. So two different sep 
exploration techniques, and we're exploring both. So we have the two best, we have two companies that are moving down to be a separation facility in North America and Canada, and that's a critical step to get these rare earth projects off the ground so that our projects can have a uh, end user at the end of the day for our, our developments. So in addition to the very good news with the technology aspect of Surge Minerals, can you give us an update on your projects, uh, specifically Fox Meadow and Silver and the Silver uh, Fox deal? Sure, Tracy. What we well, what we have in our in our what we've been working on is our district, which is 63 kilometers long, which we have the two resources, Foxtrot and Deep Fox. So we didn't need to work. Our next work on that is continuing drill programs. What we're talking about, the Silver Fox and Fox Meadows, is just continuing to do our exploration work in that belt to, to help to find that district so that we can have, we already have the two resources. It'd be great to add two more resources. And it just expands this, you know, the scope of our project to give that longevity, which, again, all leads into what countries are looking for is that secure supply chain of rare earths. And we want to be able to provide that. Well, with so many milestone announcements here recently, dare I ask you what we should be looking forward to as shareholders in the next quarter or two, Greg? Yeah, you sure can, Tracy. What we're working on now is we've completed two very successful pilot plants. And so the next steps of that is a demonstration plant that would be done at, at site in St. Louis, Labrador. And what that would be able to do is continue to give more product to feed the SRC agree talk collaboration agreements, the U.S. Rare Earth agreements, and anybody else that we're looking for to be that that separation facility for us and work together with them to achieve that. So that's our next uh, milestone. We've already completed our, uh, we're just completing our engineering studies for the cost on that. And then we'll be going out to our government-led uh, partners that have supported us in since 2014 to help get get this technology built in St. Louis, Labrador. Well, Greg, I've really enjoyed your TED Talk on why all of us rare earth investors should not only stay in the rare earth investing sector, but get even more excited about it. Do you have anything else you'd like to add uh, with regards to the uptick in our sector's interest from major automotive players? Um, well, I think from from what we've what we've tried to preach is being the mining company. It's very tough for us to make those phone calls to the the OEMs. But from from their point of view, as they're starting to look at a demand pull, whereby if they set up shop in Canada, North America, the European uh, Union, is they need to make sure all the way down in that supply chain they have reliable source of materials to to create their end product before they make that substantial investment. You saw the recent announcements by Ford and Fiat coming to Canada. They're going to be looking for those, making sure at the end of that supply chain, where are you getting your raw materials? And we want to be able to say we're getting the raw materials from Search Minerals out of Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, Greg, I cannot thank you enough for that highly invigorating rare earth sector update from Search Minerals. Really appreciate it, and I look forward to an update sooner than later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy.